uh, we're thanking you for joining our live webinar covering business network attached storage here today at Seagate. And today's focus topic will cover uh, Seagate's Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro NAS drives. And we're happy to be joined by our friends from QNAP today who will cover their NAS products as well. We're also uh, happy to welcome members of the Seagate Partner Program to today's event. And uh, as always, we hope you find the content valuable and, and relevant to your business. I want to take a moment to introduce the team here. You've heard some names this morning if you've been on the line early with us. Uh, our main speakers today will be Jason Vanoen, Seagate's Global NAS Product Marketing Manager. And from QNAP, we welcome Hernan Lopez, Total Solutions Manager. My name is Joshua Walty, Seagate's Global Partner Evangelist, and I will be your host for today's session. So just a few reminders before we hand things over to Jason to uh, run us through some of the drive side of the house. Um, to preserve the sound quality, all participants today are on mute, but you do uh, have the ability to reach out to us via WebEx. You can use the chat box to send us a message or questions or just need a little bit of assistance, please reach out. We'll also be answering questions at the end of the presentation, so please submit yours to the team um, using that chat box or Q&A box as well. I also want to remind everybody we do get questions throughout the session. Uh, that this webinar um, is going to be recorded and today's session, uh, those folks who do attend the full session will receive a copy of the presentation and a link to a survey, kind of let us know what we, what we did right, how we can improve, all that good stuff. Um, and then now, last but not least, I want to remind everybody here that we will be pulling a, a name of a lucky winner who will receive a total storage solution that includes Seagate Iron Wolf Pro Drives and a QNAP TS-563 NAS enclosure. So, wish I could get in on the game, but you know, it just doesn't work that way. So, anyway, to be eligible for the drawing, I just want to reiterate, we will be selecting names um, only of those attendees of the full session. So, the other uh, nice additive here that uh, you may have caught in the invite is that U.S. members of Intel's Technology Partner Program are eligible to receive 50 points for today's participation. In the follow-up materials, if you're not a member of that program, we'll send you links out to it, um, but it's a nice compliment to Seagate's partner program, which I'll be plugging a little bit later on uh, in this session. So uh, now on with the show. Let me go ahead and uh, pass things off to Jason Benoen, who can uh, run us to the drive side of the house, like I said. Jason, give me just one moment, and we'll pass the ball over to you. Thank you, Josh. All right. You should be in the driver's seat at this time, Jason. Awesome. Thank you so much, Josh, and thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my deck here, and we'll get the ball rolling. So, yes, like uh, Josh said earlier, I am the product marketing manager at Seagate for Iron Wolf hard drives that are optimized for NAS enclosures such as QNAP, which is our special guest today. Iron Wolf is part of our Guardian series of, a specialty, of specialty drives. So each drive is tuned specifically for each application, giving the best user experience possible. So everybody's familiar with Barracuda. Barracuda is on the far left, as you can see here. And they have quite the history at Seagate and are made for desktop applications. Skyhawk on the far right is built for surveillance and is built on top of 10 years of surveillance history. And Ironwolf in the middle is optimized for RAID, op, uh, RAID applications and NAS. So this presentation will focus on Ironwolf Pro and its offerings. And right after, Hernan will be discussing QNAP business NAS enclosures, which Ironwolf Pro are built for. So Ironwolf and Ironwolf Pro drives are tough, ready, and scalable. Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro are built for the connected homes and um, the commercial enterprise um, NAS enclosures. So uh, more about that here shortly. So to meet all of what QNAP needs in their NAS are very four important items from Iron Wolf Pro HDDs. We have Algebra Array firmware that optimizes the drive for RAID environments. Second, Iron Wolf Pro allows for and meets the heavy workload business environments by offering up to 300 terabytes a year. The workload rate limit allows you to push more data through the NAS, allowing you to go further. Next, 
are the rotational vibration RV sensors that are both on Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro for multi-bay NAS enclosures, providing consistent performance, um, performance and reliability. And last is the stellar service we have to offer with Iron Wolf Pro by offering a five-year warranty and a two-year data recovery service. So when it comes down to NAS enclosures like QNAP, they provide storage solutions for both the connected home and business users. Iron Wolf is made specifically for connected home, SOHO and SMB NAS systems, while Iron Wolf Pro is made for commercial and enterprise NAS environments. So looking at connected homes, these users use the NAS for simple necessities such as file sharing and backup. So one thing home users use NAS enclosures for now are media serving capabilities in which they can stream content to their TV and mobile devices on the go. With QNAP boxes, users are able to stream 4K content and transcode on the fly. So the next type of NAS enclosure which QNAP will be discussing is built for businesses, offering the basic necessities for businesses such as file sharing, backup, and remote access. However, their software and hardware um, combination goes beyond that. They also offer virtualization options, private cloud, and can even host websites and more. So the great thing about Iron Wolf Pro is that they meet the needs for business use case scenario scenarios here from QNAP. So earlier I mentioned that our drives are tough, ready, and scalable. Um, so um, when we're speaking of tough, uh, we're, we're speaking of its capability to handle the high workload rates for always on, always accessible 24-7 use. So uh, NAS enclosures are always on 24-7 compared to um, other, uh, let's say for Iron Wolf drives, um, they are built for 24-7. Um, desktop drives are only made for 8x7 use. So that's uh, one of the reasons why Iron Wolf drives are tough. Um, it's ready um, by delivering RAID-optimized performance, best-in-class IOPS with TLER, and rotational vibration sensors that mitigate vibration in a NAS enclosure. In return, you get consistent performance. Our drives are scalable by offering a wide range of drives that will fit the budget, and they are compatible with most popular NAS brands, such as QNAP. So Agile Ray um, firmware is installed on Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro. It focuses on three aspects, performance, power, and reliability. So, uh, why performance and how? There are many things that come into play to make sure performance is delivered, such as TLER that reassures uninterrupted response, tuned and optimized for RAID and its offerings, RV sensors to make sure performance stays consistent for years, and network um, slash media uh, streaming is optimized with Azure Array. With having multiple drives in a NAS, it will consume more energy, and with Agile Array, we make sure it conserves energy while reducing heat dissipation. And of course, reliability. The most important aspect on what Azure has to offer is the reliability of the drive, which I mentioned earlier, by, by delivering 24-7 use and high workload rates. So the difference between Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro cater to the needs of where they are going to be used. Iron Wolf Pro has an offering of up to 10 terabytes and caters up to 16-bay business NAS enclosures. Iron Wolf Pro has a higher workload rate limit here with 300 terabytes a year. So this means you can do more with the NAS in terms of pushing data through those hard drives. This is very handy for creative pros and um, for um, heavy workload environments for businesses. So whether it be for file sharing or for virtual storage capabilities with the NAS, Iron Wolf Pro has got you covered. Alongside of being NAS tuned with Azure Array is the RV sensors. So this helps mitigate vibration in multi-bay environments. So uh, with Iron Wolf Pro, it's up to 16 bays where it, um, where it can handle um, vibration. Uh, the more drives you have in a NAS, the more it will vibrate and hinder performance. So that, um, the great thing is Iron Wolf Pro and Iron Wolf Pro come with RV sensors standard, meaning it will make sure your drives are performing top notch in those environments. And Iron Wolf Pro is tough with a 1.2 million MTBF and a five year limit, limited warranty. But the great thing about Iron Wolf Pro, it comes with rescue um, recovery services. So it does have data recovery services for the first two years, something that makes it different compared to the standard. 
Looking at the differences between Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro here, Iron Wolf is more consumer application use. Iron Wolf Pro meets the needs for commercial multi-user usage. That require heavy workload rates on the NAS. And Iron Wolf Pro provides fast read-write or random benchmark focus and is optimized for accelerating throughput. So what makes Iron Wolf Pro better than the competition? We have the highest capacity available by offering a 10 terabyte solution. What, these mean, what this means is that you can store more data and even free up more bays in the NAS. In return, you can use it for more storage for your customers or for redundancy purposes for those empty bays. We offer not just 10 terabyte, also, but also a wide range of capacities to meet the budget. So for Iron Wolf Pro, we currently have the 6, 8, and 10 terabyte. Soon we, have, we will have lower capacities as well. We also have the high workload rates of 180 terabytes for our Iron Wolf and 300 terabytes for our Iron Wolf Pro. And our competition is only capable of doing about 120 terabytes a year. So what does this mean? Um, well, we, if we look at users that access the drive 24-7 a day, that come to be about 146 terabytes a year, we meet the needs for that environment, even more so with Iron Wolf Pro at 300 terabytes a year. So everybody loves performance, and of course, Seagate doesn't disappoint here. So as you can see, our drives deliver up to 220, and this allows for more users to access the NAS enclosure. And I mentioned the RV sensors that is standard across the board for the Iron Wolf series. So let's take a look at the competition like through with this chart. Um, as mentioned in the previous slide, we have the highest capacity. We have Agile Array that meets the need for NAS by combining um, both hardware and software together to get a, a complete um, user experience for our NAS enclosures, the RV sensors, the high, high workload rate, and of course the data recovery service is now standard here with the Iron Wolf Pro. So now let's have a quick run through the rescue recovery services on Iron Wolf Pro. It covers mechanical and a accidental damage, so like floods or natural disasters and power surges that the RAID can't cover. We have global coverage in 90 countries, four labs that are in-house with Seagate, and we have a pr proven track record because we know our drives best, and that's why we have a 90% success rate to cover for system integrators and bars and your clients that need data recovery when it happens. There have been stories where data recovery costs upwards of $6,000 and above. So this is great to have with um, Iron Wolf Pro. It comes with it. You don't have to do, you don't have to purchase it extra. It just comes with it. There's no extra charge. Um, but it does come with it for only two years. And if there is anything, like if you want to add an additional years, um, we're looking at uh, $5 for every year. Um, and if you want to complete the whole five-year experience, it's a, it, for three years, we're looking at $14.99. So um, all we ask for you to do is just to make sure to activate the rescue services here at seagate.com um, seagate slash register. So, um, I, so this pretty much closes off on my part of the presentation, and I want to go and... Uh, um, bring back the four takeaways of what Iron Wolf Pro has to provide for you. Um, we provide Algebra Ray that optimizes the hard drive for, for um, RAID performance, for superior RAID performance, 300 terabytes for heavy workload NAS environment, the RV sensors at standard, which limited compared to our competition, and um, uh, we have the five-year limited warranty with the two-year data recovery service. So with this said, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully if Hernan is on board, I'm going to go ahead and pass the ball to him, to the TBS X73. Okay, Jason, I'm going to check one more time to see if we have Hernan on the line. Uh, I do see him on the WebEx, but I don't see any audio device connected. I think he might be having issues with this laptop this morning. Um, let me go ahead while I'm just checking one thing. I want to see if we have any questions um, for your section. Hey, guys, can you hear me? There he is. Hey, Look at that. Just in time. Man of the hour. Okay. He loves to make a grand entrance. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That's all right. Hernan, we're going to go ahead and uh, pass you the ball here. So give me just one moment. Fantastic. Great. Thank and, you. Uh, 
You have a doppelganger. I see two of you on here, so I'm going to pass the ball to the first of you and we'll yeah. see, see where it goes from there. And Hernan, you have the presentation, so um, we'll just go ahead and um, share the presentation from your end. Okay. Thank so you. You've, you've got the ball, Hernan. Um, if you don't see control on your end, we can go on to the second of you and see if that one has to be controlled. Go ahead and try that. Give it just a minute to, to sync up while everybody on the line is nice and patient. All right. And what do you see from your end, Hernie? Okay. I just see the um, Seagate webinar homepage. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah. I see the, it doesn't say my, it doesn't show my screen. Okay. Or it doesn't allow me to do that right now. Yeah. So if you go to the quick start menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen, mm -hmm. uh, you should have some circles in the middle. One of them says share screen and that, let me know if that option is available to you. It's it's not. It's straight up. Okay. Well, let's try. So I must be the other one. <laughs> okay. You are tricky. Let's see. I'm the other guy. I see something happening. We do have quite the uh, psychedelic effect happening here. Yeah, indeed. I'm not sure what's going on there. It requires 3D glasses. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. We somehow broke into the matrix. Yeah, yeah, that's uh If anything, um, perhaps maybe I could go ahead and share the presentation on my end, and then Hernan, you can go ahead and just let yeah. me know when you want to go to the next one. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, see that up for you. Okay, Jason, you should have the ball on your end. Okay. Give me a second. There we go. All right. So Jason's driving, and Hernan, you're giving the orders. Fantastic. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Well, actually, it's really interesting. Believe it or not, the WebEx is continuously calling me over and over again. My phone's getting really heated in my ears, so I apologize. So let's get going, guys. So we're going to talk today about our all-new product. It's a TVS 73 series from QNAP. It's a great system. It's a it's a new system. It is going to be released. We are anticipating uh, this month of its of its um, release. It's powered by AMD, and it's a it's a fantastic new system. Page. Go, Jason. Okay, so let's let's talk about three points. We're going to talk about its value, and we're going to talk about its speed, and we're going to talk about its ease of installation. Okay, so let's talk about value first. It's a cost-effective NAS in the SMB space, okay? It's competitively priced. It's ranked about, I would say, about three, about two to $300 uh, less than NAS in its, in its class, okay? So it's an amazing product, and it's powerful, and it's fast, and it's, its performance is exceptional, and transcoding as well. So what it does is we've actually optimized the, the system utilizing the AMD processors. We're going to talk about those specs in a second, okay, and, and why, why that gives it its speed. Um, and we're going to talk about its uh, better graphic performance as well. Okay, it comes built with the, Radeon, with the Radeon R7 graphic engine, okay, and that supports two 4K HDMI outputs simultaneously, okay, for 4, 4K playback. And its performance as well. So get this, it's, it starts at a four bay NAS that'll get you 64 gigs of RAM. Okay, so its performance is tremendous. And those are using the SODIMM DDR4-2133 RAM slots, okay? It also supports M.2 SSD technology, and that's great for cache as well. And it has a little LED screen in the front that tells you when those, uh, when those cache drives are, are being utilized. So that's, that's really helpful. Okay. It also comes with the, the all-new QNAP USB direct connect in the front. So that's a quick access connection that you can connect directly into your laptop or into your machine and utilize the system directly. 
So you don't have to go through the network and fumble through all that IP stuff. You can actually connect directly into the QNAP and drag and drop files in case you're on the go or whatever you're doing, whatever workload you're, you're creating, you can now connect direct. And now let's talk about the ease of installation, okay? The, the ease is this. Now, in the past, you'd have to use screws and screwdrivers to, to replace our drives. Now we have this new click technology where you slide in the drive, uh, click the sides, and um, insert the drive, and you're ready to go. So again, uh, ease of use, ease of installation, value, and its, and its speed. Next page, please. Okay, so let's talk about some of its uses and um, who it's geared for, okay, and best value and choice for uh, video studios and post-editing designers. Uh, great system. Its speed is, again, tremendous. It has an open slot for a 10 gig, um, for a 10 gig card. So if, you have, if you're running a 10 gig network, um, this is the machine for you. Again, you can, you can, it doesn't come with, you can order it with a 10 gig. Um, it doesn't come with it. So later, perhaps you decide to, to go to 10 gig and eventually we all will, uh, it'll be ready for that. Okay, so great performance, stable bandwidth. Again, the USB uh, connect in the front, um, it's ease of use is tremendous. Being able just to connect directly into your, your PC, your laptop, and, uh, and share files, upload, you know, download. Um, at USB speed, it's it's really it's really really cool. So great for medium sized businesses. And again, your corporation, your company, a small and medium size. Uh, this is a really really good choice for you as far as NAS goes. Again, it's powerful and it's economical. Okay. And the great thing about this is to be able to to utilize the VM, uh, the virtualization. Okay, within your environment, as we know, virtualization is RAM intensive, right? So what the system allows you to do is add 64 gigs of RAM. So you don't have to worry about your RAM, right, if you're running a virtual environment. And the performance, again, so the AMD processor um, that the system comes equipped with, it's clocked at about somewhere between the uh, Core i5 and i7 processor. So you just keep that in mind. So it's right around that speed and obviously and not at that cost. So it's uh, super, super fast backup. It also comes <clears throat> with a... USB 3.1, okay, so it comes with a dual port, um, and that's, that's in the back, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna walk you through that as well. And, uh, and that's super blazing speed at 10 gigabits, so super, super fast. Next. All right, so let's take a look at our lineup. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at existing NAS, the NASs that are currently in the market, and we're gonna compare it. That way you guys can kind of get a, um, an idea of where the new 73 series stands, okay? As you know, we have the 73A series, okay? And that comes with an Intel Braswell processor. And that was, uh, you know, that was an earlier machine, and now we're up at the 63 series. That's an AMD series. You can see those are entry-level SMB systems. And right above that is a new 73 series, and it's nestled right in between the mid SMB, um, medium sized businesses, small and medium sized businesses. And its rival is our uh, 71 series, as you guys know so well. Now, the 73 series, we like to think of it as its rival, uh, one being Intel based, the other one being AMD based. And up on top, uh, the next step up on SMB uh, would be the uh, 82 series. Next slide, please, Jason. Okay, so let's talk about the hardware a little bit, the AMD R series a processor, and let's talk about the AMD Radeon graphics card it has built in. Okay, so um, the APU, also known as a CPU, is a 64-bit, okay, CPU. Uh, it's four core, and it starts at 2.1 gigs, and the great thing is if you need more, if you need more CPU, if you need more CPU power, it has it. Okay, it has a turbo, so it turbo boosts up to 3.4 gigs if needed. Okay, so that's always good to have in your back pocket. You're doing something, you're transcoding, you, you're doing a job that's um, CPU intensive. Uh, this system will actually turbo boost to 3.4 gigs. So that's that's quite that's quite a you know it's quite a neat thing to have in your back pocket when you're working. Um, and so so get this. So we've created a system that's economical and it's powerful. At the same time, it saves you money in the long run because it's actually a low wattage system, okay? It'll get down to 12 or 30, it'll get down as low as 12 watts, okay? And uh, up to 35 watts, so it's it's low in wattage and in the long run, it'll save you it'll save you money at the same time, it'll keep the system running cool. 
Next page, please, Jason. Hey, Jason, I'm getting used to this. I'm gonna take it all my presentations. Next, so, okay, so let's talk. Let's compare <laughs> a little bit the um, some of the models, some of the models uh, that we have in the market right now. The AMD systems, as you know, the 63 series, and it made a big, it made a, it was the first AMD NAS built. A couple of years ago, we announced it at CES and, and uh, made quite a splash. And, and this year, we're doing the same thing uh, with the new 73 series, as you can see here. And at QNAP, as you know, we're progressive. We're constantly, you know, looking at new technology and looking at new hardware. And so this is the next step up for us. Okay, we're, we're going from a 2.4 gig processor to one that bursts up to 3.4 gigs. Okay, and uh, it's four core again, and you can see the wattage. It's going from 25 watts, and it's actually dipping down to 12, as low as 12. So that helps out a lot, again, in the power consumption and the heat of a system. So that's what you want it to do. You know, so it doesn't overheat. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, you know, affect your hardware. That doesn't heat up your, you know, your Seagate drives in the system. So that always helps out. Next slide, please. Okay, so let's take a look at the front and the back of the system. Now, Jason, this is going to be intricate because it's actually it's a, it's a multi-click page. So we're going to start. So go ahead, Jason, click one time. Okay, so let's talk about some of the ports. On the left-hand side is the HDMI. It comes with, as I mentioned, two uh, 4K HDMI outputs. Now, that's great. You're probably wondering, what the heck do I need an HDMI output for a, for a NAS system? Well, the great thing is you can connect your keyboard and mouse and monitor to the system, and it's a it's a control center. So you can actually view and control everything directly onto the QNAP, um, as well as view and monitor anything, whatever data and information is on, on the system, uh, you can view it directly from the machine itself. Okay, and as I mentioned, it comes with it comes with two slots. One of the slots, uh, one of the uh, the slots is uh, the PCIe slots is taken up by a uh, three point, it's a USB 3.1, and as you guys know, that technology is, is blazing fast. It's a new USB technology, and uh, it comes with a dual port on that. And as you can see, the uh, the one beneath that is actually, it's in reserve. So it's sitting there, and it's waiting for the 10 gig card, okay? And again, uh, you can purchase it with your QNAP at the time of purchase, or uh, you can wait and, you know, until, until you guys' network's ready for 10 gig. Uh, rest assured that you can always insert one later on. Next click, please, Jason. Okay, and as you know, uh, the QNAP always comes with its standard uh, USB 3.0 connections. In this case, it comes with three, as you can see them. Okay, and it comes with the standard uh, four uh, gigabit, four one gig um, uh, NIC cards in the back as well. That's great for, you know, port trunking and, and doing uh, virtual switches and stuff like that. It helps out a lot, okay? Uh, it also comes with two mic inputs and one speaker output. And the reason for that is there's several apps in the market you can download and utilize for recording and playback. So um, we've installed that as well for, you know, for apps and recording. Next click, please, Jason. And here's the little LEDs, as I mentioned, the uh, two uh, M.2 indicators that are blinking once that cache turbo kicks in. So you'll be able to see that action going on. Uh, IR receiver as well for the remote control. And uh, next click, please. And again, the tool list, as I mentioned, uh, the tool list um, feature, be able to snap in uh, your hard drives easily and out. The great thing is they're hot swappable. Uh, not that the Seagates will need any hot swapping, but rest assured that if you do need it, um, you can go ahead and you know, pull the drive out, click it in, and continue working. The same thing, uh, you need to upgrade. Now, there's people always ask the question, hey, you know what, I, I don't need eight bays, or I don't need, you know, I only need two. Well, the truth is you can actually start with two drives. Insert two Seagate drives, and you're up and running. You don't have to populate the whole thing. You always keep that in mind. And one of my favorite features, uh, next click, please, Jason, is the handy-dandy QNAP remote control. Uh, oh, actually, the USB quick access is is actually my favorite. So what you can do is, is again, be able to connect a USB uh, cable, okay, the USB cable directly into the QNAP and straight into your machine and, and be able to share things, drag and drop things. Um, and again, that's that's use of use. It sits on my desk and it's really easy to use on my laptop. So that helps a lot. I don't have to log into the, you know, the IP and stuff like that. So really, really neat thing you guys uh, we would, would like to consider. And next is the remote control. Okay, the handy dandy remote control. Go to click, Jason. And the great thing is about this, it's programmable. Okay, so you can actually you can actually program what you want the buttons to do. 
So you see the red, yellow, uh, green, and blue button. You can program it to start the surveillance cameras, or you can program it to, you know, to start different functions and features and backup and stuff like that. So it's programmable, so it's really neat, and it's easy to do. It's just drag and drop and click, and uh, and and it's it's up and up and ready to go. Next slide, please, Jason. Okay, here's a side view. Okay, the internal side view. What we've done is we've at QNAP, we allow you to upgrade the the RAM. We we suggest it. You know, it's it's you guys open this, open up the QNAP, and and go ahead and and you know add RAM as needed, right? So we've put it in a place where it's easy to access. So just slide up the cover, and you can you can upgrade your your RAM. Go ahead and click, Jason. Okay, and here are the slots here. And again, it takes 64. So uh, when you purchase it, it'll come with eight or 16 or 64. Okay, and let's say you need eight now, that's fine. Later on, you can upgrade to 16 or 64. It's up to you, and it's up to your workload, you know, what you guys are doing. Okay, next click, Jason. And here are the slots for the uh, M.2 at SATAs, and again, utilized for cash and for speed or for a queue, a tiering technology. Um, that's where you insert these things as well. Thanks, Jason. All right, so let's go over the quick uh, specs really quick on the hardware. As I mentioned, it comes with a new AMD R-Series RX 42 1BD quad-core 2.1 gig turbo core processor, and that thing boosts up to 3.4 gigs. So it needed, rest assured it's got it. Graphic cards, all new Radeon uh, R7. As we know, that's a high graphics uh, graphic card. It comes built in with it. The uh, hardware encryption is the AES-NI. Uh, Memory, as I mentioned, you can you can upgrade this thing up to um, uh, 16 gigs if you need it. You, again, it's a, you need the RAM. Rest assured, you can you can always use it. The regular four NICs, the regular uh, Ethernet NICs that it comes with, standard um, drives, um, obviously compatible with the Seagate Iron Wolf drives. We recommend them. Uh, we don't recommend desktop drives for a system like this because NAS systems are constantly being utilized. So we we highly recommend NAS drives. Uh, like the Iron Wolf that are reliable and resilient. Um, also, the M.2 SSDs for cache. Flash comes with uh, 512 megs of USB DOM RAM. Okay, PCI slots, as I mentioned, has two of those. One of them is being used by the 3.1 um, dual ports, as you recall. The other one's open, waiting for the 10 gig uh, USB. It comes with four USB 3.0s, as we mentioned, um, and uh, ready to go. It also comes with a uh, a dual, the USB 3.1s as well, okay, for blazing speed. HDMI comes with two of those, as I mentioned, in 4K technology. Expansion, great thing is, this thing will grow as you need it to grow. As your company grows, as your data grows, the QNAP will grow. You can expand it out uh, to um, to add another 8-bay or a 5-bay system, depending on your needs. And the handy-dandy remote control is included as well. Next, please. Here's the SKUs, and we try to make it simple. We try to make it simple for our partners and for, you know, for our users. The first um, SKU is always the same. It's always a TS, okay? The second number is the base, how many hard drives. So if you look at the TS-473, the four is how many hard drives it come with. The next is a series. We know it's a new 73 series, right? So the TS-4 bay 73 series, and next is a RAM. How much RAM do you need? TS-473 dash dash eight gigs of RAM or dash 16 gigs of RAM or dash 64 gigs of RAM. It's all up to you. And it's it's the same thing with the six and eight bay. Okay, guys? And uh, the price starts about 979. I just want to let you guys know it's very economical. Next, please, Jason. Okay, here's a RAM accessory. And as I mentioned, you can grow the RAM. Okay, you can grow the RAM and continue to grow as, as, as you need it. Uh, same thing with the expansion card. What type of network are you running? Uh, the QNAP will allow you to gear uh, itself to your network. Thanks, Jason. Okay, so here's a little side-by-side -side of the new 73 and the 71, as well as the 63. And as you can see, the AMD comes with the AMD, uh, the, the new 73 comes with the new AMD R series. Okay, and the 71 comes with the Intel series processors. You can see the, the cores and the speed of the system, um, and it comes with the uh, the memory, the 64 gigs of RAM. Okay, the 71 comes with 16 or maxes out 16, and the 63 at 16 as well. PCIe slots, you can see those as well. 
quick access uh, connect in the front. Um, only the 73 has that one. Okay, keep that in mind. The USBs standard in all of our of all of our systems. Uh, the Ethernet as well as we know. Um, those are those are uh, standard as well. HDMI. Uh, you can see the difference there. Two on the 73, uh, one on the 71, and two on the 63. 10 gig ready. They are all 10 gig ready. And they all expand. They can all expand to uh, eight more drives or five more, five more drives, and, and re respectively, depending on how much you need. Okay. And uh, only the 73 comes with uh, the remote control. Next, Jason. Okay. Here are the expansions. So even the four bay, the four hard drive system, that little guy can expand to 200 terabytes. So uh, your smaller size business, uh, startup, or graphic designer, uh, in the long run, this is a great investment. Why? You don't have to run out and buy a bunch of QNAP NAS systems. Rather, you can just buy, you know, the, exp the expansion modules, so the, the enclosures, okay? And those enclosures will get you from the from the four drive system all the way up to 200 terabytes, okay? And all you simply have to do is add 20 Seagate Iron Wolf drives, and it'll get you to 200 terabytes, okay? Same thing with the six uh, the six base system. That one scales up to 220 terabytes, okay? And the 8-bay uh, 73 system, that will get you to 240 terabytes. Next page, Jason. So let's look at some of the feature highlights really quick, okay? Um, wireless AP, okay, these are uh, AP cards um, that are installed in the QNAP or that can be installed and, and utilized within the QNAP. Now, um, this is a short list right now. We're working, we're currently working with Linux on adding more of these systems. And, and as we delve more into the IoT world, these are becoming more and more requested. So uh, we will, you will be seeing a larger list of this uh, right around probably uh, Q1 or Q2 of next year. Next, please. Here's a quick button, as I mentioned, for the, uh, the QNAP remote control and being able to add different tasks for it. And it comes in handy again, not having to log into the system and do different things. Um, the remote control will actually get you there. So just quick button and uh, be able to access those really simple, really fast, ease of use. Next, Jason. Again, one of my favorite features, just connect and go, right? The USB quick access port in the front will allow you to drag and drop things and save things directly with bypassing the, the network. Next, Jason. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jason and Seagate, for, for allowing us to come in. And I apologize for, for some of the technical difficulties we're having today. And Jason, thank you very much for clicking through our presentations. And again, yeah, no, you guys have any questions, no any questions, uh, you know, feel free to access us. Um, you contact us. You can reach us at uh, QNAP.com or email us at USASales at QNAP.com. Thanks. I think we have some uh, questions lined up um, sure. at the end of okay. this call. Josh? Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I sent some over, Hernan. I think uh, one that kind of bubbled up uh, in the middle of your presentation was so we did have an attendee who wanted to know uh, about the IOPS. Uh, what are the IOPS compared to mm -hmm. NetApp, Dell, EMC? Um, kind of more of a technical uh, question. I know you covered several models, right? So I don't know if you wanted to take that. Yeah, definitely, and it depends. I mean, it depends on the hard drive. It depends on the optimized system. Um, and we do have the benchmarks, okay? And those benchmarks are found at QNAP.com, and you can see the 73 series, and it does have all that information on there as well. And um, and the information is is uh, um, is tested in our laboratory, and you'll be able to, you'll be able to find them at QNAP.com, and so you guys can actually see that or email us at usasales at keynap.com and we'll actually get you that benchmark page. Okay, great. And, you know, this is not necessarily a question, Hernan, but we, you did address, um, you know, somebody reached out and was just kind of wrapping their head around NAS as a, as a product line and just was trying to get a sense of, you know, applications for video, you know, surveillance, mm -hmm. home entertainment. What, what are you seeing out there? I mean, I know you're probably seeing a lot of different applications, but um, you know, in your travels and you do get around and you do a lot of trainings, you know, what are some of those top applications that you're seeing for NAS, um, you know, these days? Well, for NAS, you know, for, for NAS, it's a really good question, Joshua. For NAS, it's, it's all about collaboration, okay? It's all about being able to, to centralize, so to set up a QNAP NAS and allowing 
different users to access the system at one time. So in any given in any given corporation, you'll have one QNAP, and and you can create up to 2,000 users, and each of the users will have access to each other folders. So the accounting department will have access to only the accounting folders, and the uh, the sales department will have access to the sales folders. And the same thing with you know with uh, HR. So it's it's all in it's all in one place. It's all centralized and it's all backed up, you know, in, into into one centralized location. Same thing when it comes to graphic houses, you know, uh, special effects or anything else in, in in multimedia design. Same thing, being able to to share with you know to share with other creators within a department or within a corporation. That's what the Keen app allows you to do. And at the same time, be able to access on the road. And as you mentioned, Joshua, I travel a lot, so me being able to access my key app at any time is, you know, it's a big benefit. You know, I can download presentations, I can upload things, I can take a picture, you know, of a of a of a booth, you know, of our QNAP booth, you know, at CES that's coming up, and I can upload it instantly straight into my QNAP. So it's a, it's a it's a cloud system. So it allows you to do that upload, download, and share as well. So if I'm on the road and I need to share a contract or share a file with someone, I can actually grab it out of my, my QNAP, get that link, and send it to you, and you can download it. So it's sort of like a Dropbox where it allows you to do this, and there's no limitation and no cost. I mean, it, it's, it's your QNAP, and there's no additional cost to that. So um, it's very useful. It definitely is. And I think centralization and shared and uh, is 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 key, you know. And it's obviously the the, the raid is really important. Um, the raid, if one disk fails, then you know you can take it out and then put in another one and continue working. And the, none of the none of the files are compromised. And raid is really important as well. Yeah, that's great. Great. Yeah, I know it's a, it's it's definitely a category that's taking off, and a lot of folks are are kind of wrapping their head around the applications of it. And I've seen that on trade shows, by the way, people walking around with their phones and accessing all types of media, even, you know, uh, home surveillance equipment, business surveillance equipment, and it's all here again right. in the palm of their hand. And if that if that device is lost, which does happen, um, you know, they're, they haven't lost access to that. They just need to restore the phone. Um, I was going to pivot a little bit. You, you talked a little bit about RAID backup. And in Jason's section, we talked, a, I think, briefly about the rescue service. And, and Jason, I was going to pull you in here because that's really kind of a big story, not just for, you know, NAS units in general, but for resellers. Uh, I was going to have you kind of reiterate the rescue service and, and the two years that we're focusing on the on the pro series, because I don't want that to get lost in and amongst a lot of the technical of discussion here. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Yeah, um, as everybody knows here, that RAID is not a backup. Um, it's great for redundancy purposes, but of course it doesn't cover natural disasters, such as a fire, flood, anything of that like, so anything like mechanical damage, accidental damage, will take care of you within those two weeks, or two two years, that is. And, um, and all you have to do is call Seagate. Um, make sure that you register the drive first and call Seagate, and we're able to go ahead and take care of you. Just send it over, and um, we have a 90% success rate to recover that data. And a lot of um, creative pros that are not familiar with RAID, a lot of... Um, small businesses, small offices that don't have the or lack resources in the IT area um, benefit to this. So um, this is absolutely new, comes with IronWolf Pro and is already there for you once you register to drive. You don't have to pay anything extra and you get that two years. Great, and I, and I do want to reiterate, there is a registration step there. So any resellers, um, you know, are working with their customers, they can go ahead and register that on behalf of their clients, and that kind of kick things, uh, you know, off uh, from the for the actual warranty period too. So um, really, really cool. Right? I mean, talk about a, a major value add uh, for the drive, and it's a great pair and makes the system with QNAP. Um, a total solution, as we've been talking about. Um, the one final thing I wanted to do here, you guys can go ahead and take a look online, see if there's any final questions that we may have missed. And um, I thought I would do just a, a moment of, of shelf, self, uh, shameless self-promotion. And, um, you know, really, we throw these events, these online events, um, not only for our Seagate Partner Program members, but we do it for the channel at large. And uh, one of the things that, that is really beneficial for the channel is 
uh, access to information and support. And I wanted to make sure that folks on the line knew that, you know, if you aren't a member of Seagate's partner program and you received this invitation uh, from a colleague, um, we encourage you to take a few minutes and sign up after the webinar. And uh, I wanted to call out not only some of the things on the screen you see here, like sales training and, and priority support and, and product collateral, a lot of the, the standard stuff you'd expect from a partner program. Uh, but Jason and the team have worked really hard behind the scenes to, to build out kind of a NAS segment, uh, kind of corner of that partner program. So we do have, uh, you know, a place where you can go and get all sorts of things, not just marketing, but also uh, sales materials, technical materials. We do have access to training on there as well. And it's a really nice place to go within our partner portal uh, to get all things NAS. We also have a complimentary tab there for those of you who are kind of getting into the surveillance end of this and setting up on behalf of clients surveillance-related NAS systems. Uh, we do have a surveillance side of that as well. But Jason, nice work. We've gotten a lot of good feedback, and I wanted to make sure that it didn't go uh, unsung as a, as a nice add to the Seagate Partner Program. And it takes about, I would say, maybe five minutes or less to, to join. So anyway, um, once you sign up, by the way, also wanted to give everybody an idea that you will be receiving a monthly newsletter where we do talk a lot about NAS. We do bring our partners in like QNAP. We talk about technology, um, not just product focus, but solution overviews, all that good stuff too. So um, Jason, and before we end here, I was going to give you a chance to do any final thoughts and, and Hernand as well. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it was a pleasure um, doing a presentation with Hernan here, and I thank you everybody for joining on, on this presentation with IronWolf Pro and how they work well with QNAP NAS. So um, make sure that every time um, when you think about hard drives, um, do not go with desktop drives. Um, go with an IronWolf or IronWolf Pro drive, depending on the use case scenario. Again, thank you all. Hernan? Yeah, uh, Jason, correct. You're, you're right. Um, you know, it, it, we, we get these calls a lot, and we, um, regarding tech calls and, and you know, it's unfortunate that a lot of a lot of the users that that we work with use desktop drives, and they don't use the correct drives. And and I, you know, and I'm a big proponent of, you know, saying that not all drives are built the same. Okay, uh, there are NAS, there are drives that are built specifically for NAS systems. There are drives that are built for surveillance, and there's drives that are built for desktop. Okay, and um, do your homework. You know, do your research, and definitely stick to the ones that we recommend. Uh, you know that that we are the highly recommended NAS drives, like Ironwood, Iron Wolf Pro drives in the QNAP. Um, it'll help us a lot, get less calls, <laughs> obviously, but at the same time, you'll get better results and a better product. You know, and and when you tie two really good products in together, you know, in the long run, it'll end up paying off. So uh, definitely, always always consider that. Um, you know, for for our listeners out there, I, I highly recommend it. Great, couldn't say it better ourselves. Well, from all of us here at Seagate and QNAP, and uh, on behalf of the Seagate Partner Program and, and everybody out there, I want to thank you for joining today's session. Um, after this session, we'll be sending out um, both a link to the recording as well as a copy of the slides. And uh, I did put into some of the notes here online where you can go to find more NAS-related information on Seagate.com. Um, just keep an eye on Iron Wolf on Seagate.com, and it'll take you right to both Iron Wolf, Iron Wolf Pro, and I know we had some people questioning about where to get data sheets and things like that. So that is your home for all things NAS. This is your home for all things Seagate Partner Program. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you during the next session. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.